In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to edit music videos like Fake Ming. I mean, you guys knew I had to make this video here, like Fake Mink, I mean, such a good artist and such a cool aesthetic as well, super, super many popular music videos, so I thought, you know, it was a great idea to break down how to make them. And if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Pelle Sjöberg, I've been editing for over a decade right now, and nowadays I share my editing knowledge on this channel through uploading tutorials and I'm also running the editing visuals website which has the most top tier editing assets you could possibly get. Other than that let's get right into this breakdown here. So here we are in After Effects and I've added in some footage here I'm going to be showcasing the first effect we're going to be creating basically and the first effect we're going to be creating is the pixel jitter kind of transition effect that was used in Fake Mink's Easter Pink music video. Very very popular effect and I'm going to be breaking it down right here in After Effects how you can create it. And just so you guys know, I'm using 1080p with 24fps if you guys want to use the same composition settings as me, basically. So what you will need to do is either importing or using some extra footage you have. So here we got a cool frame here. I'm going to be using this one. So here, let's see, here I have added a bunch of random frames here I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be making this uh, transition pretty long, actually. So we're going to be going 10 frames from the transition point to the right. And I'm going to make a marker here, so something like that. Go to the transition point, I'm going to make a marker here as well. Great, and then go 10 frames to the left from the transition point. Then we'll make a marker there. Then let's choose which picture we want to start off with. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to make it two frames long here. And after that, you're going to be masking it, basically. So go to the rectangle tool here, and then just drag over the parts you want to include. So we can start with this single rectangle here. Then press Ctrl D, and then drag the duplicated clip to the end of the uh, first clip here. And all of the example footage you have, you can drag it to the side, just like that. And then for the second clip here, we're going to be adding some extra rectangles here and masks, stuff like that. Press Ctrl D, and then now go four frames forward, something like that. This is all about making it as random kind of look as possible, uh, as you guys uh, might understand, you know. And here, let's delete the already existing masks, make some new one, something like that. So now when we play it so far, we'll be getting this kind of look here. Very, very clean look. And if you guys want to track which masks are from the same kind of clip, you either name it or, as I like to do, I'm applying a color to the layer. So let's set these first clips here to green so they easily stand out like this. Now let's use some new clip here. I think this one is cool. We can uh, start with it here. Drag it out so it's two frames. So here I'm going to be making the ma first mask here. So let's make a quick rectangle over the face there. Then press Ctrl D. Then I'm going to drag it like this. So it's one frame empty here. And then here, add the next mask here. So they look something like this now. Pretty clean. And if you want to make the mask layers freeze frames, you can press Ctrl Alt T on the layer and clip here. Keyframe uh, just like this. Press Ctrl C on the keyframe. Ctrl V in the end. So now it's a still frame like that. And obviously you can also press P. Drag around the mask here like this. Go to our other clip here. Ctrl Alt T. Keyframe. Ctrl C. Ctrl V. Something like that. We get this kind of look now. Very clean. We can make this layers blue here. And I'm going to press Ctrl D. Drag it a little bit further in here. And I'm going to reset the masks here. And make some new ones. So something like that. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. Place them where you want. You can also press Ctrl D again. Go a little bit further in. Delete one of the masks. And now with the second mask clips added. It's going to look something like this now. Glitchy frame look here. Super super clean. Let's now shake it when we play it. Super, super clean effect here. I mean, absolutely incredible. Now for the second effect we're going to be going over is the flicker jittering effect that was used in Fake Ming's uh, music and me music video, uh, which I thought was super, super cool and super iconic to Fake Ming's whole aesthetic, basically. And how to create it uh, here in After Effects is by, if we just preview this clip here, we got three clips here of fake mink and to create that yeah, jittering look here uh, we basically gonna start off by dragging out the last clip here to the end like that. I'm going to be creating this clip here kind of you know jittering and glitching basically. So here we're going to be pressing Control D on this clip and drag it a little bit in like this. So now when we play it 
we get a fast jittering glitch here. Then press Ctrl D again. Drag it even more in like this. And now we're going to be pressing Ctrl Alt T. And then we're just going to reverse it real quick. So just make some quick uh, keyframes here. Then just uh, switch them basically like this. I just like that. Uh, cut it. And then after that, duplicate the first clip again. Then adding it to the end there. And then we're going to add the end clip after that. So now when we play, we get this jittering, glitchy, kind of fake mink effect here. Super, super cool. And what he did uh, in the music and me music video was uh, also to add a huge flickering effect to this as well. So how to make a flickering effect is by adding a adjustment layer here. I'm going to be having the flickering effect just above the jittering effect here. So you can... Cut the adjustment layer like this. After that, here we're going to be adding exposure. And here, keyframe the exposure. Drag up the exposure. Go to the next frame. Drag it down. Next frame. Drag it up. Next frame. Drag it down. Open the adjustment layer. Effects. Exposure. Master. And then hold alt and click the clock on exposure. We get the express section up here. And here we're just going to type loop out. Just like that. And now when we play it, it's going to look something like this here. Super, super clean jittering flicker effect here absolutely incredible and just amplifies that whole you know glitchy jittering look even more super super clean absolutely love it and great and now for the final fake mink effect i'm going to be going over in today's video which is the echo shutter effect that was used in his crying music video and i thought it was very very cool so let's break it down here and uh, i have some clips here i'm going to be showcasing it on I'm going to be creating an adjustment layer here, so press Ctrl Alt Y. I'm going to be starting off by adding the echo effect here. I'm going to set the echo time to minus 0 0.1, and then number of echoes to 5, then decay to 0 0.75, and then echo operator from add set it to maximum. So this is going to give us this echo effect here. After that, to get some harsh colors here, we're going to be using the posterize effect. And here we can adjust to your liking. I'm going to go with 8. Something like this, I think, looks cool. You can also add exposure to get some more brightness here. I'm gonna set it to one. Pops a little bit more. After that, let's add curves. Make some sharpness kind of boost here. It's gonna look something like this. Pretty, pretty clean. Let's add a noise to this as well. Drag it above posterize. Yeah, let's set it to 2%, something like that. And now when we play, it's gonna look something like this here. Super, super cool. Echo, shuttering, jittering, like kind of glitch. Uh, look here. Super, super cool. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to amplify this kind of look here even more and get the most, you know, ultimate fake mink look here, we can create a new adjustment layer, drag it to the top. And here, let's combine it with my low res presets pack, which is a part of my all in one bundle, which looks absolutely incredible. Just open up low res presets here. Here, let's combine it with the raw low res drag and drop. And now, when we play, this is going to look something like this here. Absolutely incredible look here. I mean, uh, this is this is just amplified the whole entire effect to a you know entire new level here. Like this is incredible. Look here, absolutely incredible. And uh, I'm super satisfied with the final effect we created now using the low res presets pack, which is a part of my all in one bundle. Insanely cool. And to check out the low res presets pack, which is a part of my all in one bundle, it's going to be linked down below with the all in one bundle as well. So you guys can easily go and check them out. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and have a nice day.